are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. As you can see, I look pretty excited and pretty happy because I am in Tenerife. So this is going to be our first European beach holiday. Ah, I'm so excited and so happy to be here. So we flew from Luton Airport and uh, it took around four hours to reach Tenerife. So the flight was really smooth, thankfully. And when we were landing, the best part was seeing all the resorts. Uh, you know, I was seeing uh, some beautiful Tenerife resorts right from above and it looks so beautiful so now talking about the public transport right when you arrive in Tenerife outside the airport you'll find taxis our resort is around 20 minutes from the airport so we paid 25 euros and yes here we are in the resort it's a very beautiful resort uh, the name is Ibero Star Sabila I'm gonna mention the link in the description box so we booked a room with sea view and it was the best decision if you seek comfort then this adults only resort is for you our room had basically all the amenities and we absolutely love staying here. Waking up to the sound of waves is the best thing ever. So the best part about this resort is there's a beach right there. So it just takes around 10 minutes walk and we can enjoy the beach. So talking about the resort, it has got its own art gallery various shops, gym and a luxurious swimming pool. And the best part is there is an easy 5 minute access to the beach from the resort. Instead of going to the beach, we first went to all the beach shops and I absolutely loved going there as I could see beautiful handicrafts. Here's a hack, if you want to book all the beach activities then I would highly recommend these excursion shops by the beach. We found all the activities at such a reasonable rate so instead of booking it online I would highly recommend visiting these excursion shops. So we have booked a lot of tours for ourselves and that will start from tomorrow. Today we have time to explore the beach here. So we are going to Troviskas beach. It's one of the best beaches here in Tenerife and yes it's right next to the resort. Just five minutes walk and yes I'm just so excited to see the beach like a perfect holiday so we ended our day after having a good indian meal at a restaurant nearby and watching the sunset something in the so our day two started with island tour. We booked this tour for £30 only per person and it was definitely worth it. Tenerife is not just about beaches. This tour covers natural wonders, beautiful traditional towns, local culture and architecture. We started with Tenerife's most iconic places, Teide National Park. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The whole area is a volcanic landscape filled with lava rock and lava streams. Next, it was time to visit beautiful small villages here in Tenerife. We even saw beautiful avocado trees and wonderful architecture. Then it was time to see 800 years old dragon tree. It's a must visit while you're here. Soon it was time for lunch. So apparently this tiny village has no vegan options at all. So we are just tired looking around. So we bought some just the regular food from a supermarket. And we're just gonna have it. Soon after lunch break, it was time to see banana plantations and some beautiful spots. Now it was time to explore Masca Valley. Masca is a small village in Tenerife located 600 meters above the sea level. It's a very beautiful landscape and a must visit. We stopped by a little cafe in this valley and we weren't disappointed. Hi guys, so it's day 3 and I'm so excited to go for whale watching and dolphin watching today. 
but before the two starts let's have breakfast our breakfast was included with the room so every single day every single morning i should say we had fabulous breakfast and now talking about dolphin and whale watching tour we booked this tour again via the excursion shop that i told you earlier it was very reasonably priced but this is like a must do thing while you are here i would highly recommend to take a small group tour instead of big group tour I've never been to an ocean like this just to see whales and this experience was amazing. A baby whale came near our boat and I saw the whale and I was so excited. Then there was a mother whale which is really huge. When I saw the whales, I started crying. There were mixed emotions. I was happy, I was crying. I was crying out of happiness actually. Oh my god. Agents of the so this was the second beach that I absolutely loved. It's near Troviscar's beach. It's called La Pinta. It's a family beach. We really had an amazing time here. There weren't any waves. So if you're a non-swimmer, you will love it. For lunch, we went to Troviscar's Spice Village. Oh my God, this was the most authentic Indian restaurant we found in Tenerife and I would highly, highly recommend it. And we ended our day watching sunset and just relaxing. Oh my god, I really love this trip so much. So that was it guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you did then give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching it. Bye for now. Bye.